Welcome to Analytics with Nax. In this video, I'm going to talk about Power BI release July 2024 as part of Catch Up with Nax series. Let's try to understand what Power BI team or Microsoft has brought for us in this month. Features are like most, like enhanced road level security, add or update multiple measures in DAX code review, Power BI enhanced report format, and Power BI reports over key. These are the features I like the most and as usual I'm not going to talk everything uh, they have released. These are the features I will use it in my day to day work. With this note let's begin. And this channel contains a free content that covers a Power BI, MSBI, SQL Server and Fundamentals of Fuzzle. And there are more to come like Data Factory and Fabric. It's on your way. Let's uh, understand about uh, this release. What are the new things that has come up? As I said, um, I'm not going to talk everything. So this is the one I like announcing general availability of enhanced role level security. So this is already there and now it's generally available because this was in the preview. Now it's generally available. You can use uh, uh, so like a GUI kind of thing to create your um, RLS and if you want to uh, switch to DAX editor and you can switch it as well. There are some cases you need to write DAX with some complex scenarios to apply the RLS. In such cases you still can use the uh, switch to DAX editor. And um, the next one I like is like add or update multiple measures in a DAX code review. Basically what happened is like earlier when you uh, introduction of uh, DAX code review uh, recently, we can able to write and explore the DAX measures. Now once you define the measures, new measures, you can update in the model as a combined together. If you write multiple measures, you can update it, add or update multiple measures. That is the option right now available. This will increase our productivity and if you write uh, many measures and you want to uh, just update it it will save a couple of minutes but it matters next uh, is like a power bi enhanced report format uh, earlier if you save the power bi um, report format we can't able to export as pbtx or pdf can't be included in subscription mobile layouts are not applied can't be utilized in power bi so these are addressed right now so the following previously announced limitations of Pivot have been resolved. So these are the limitations they have while use the PVR. Now if you use it, you can utilize all these functionalities as well. And uh, that's all actually. It seems like Microsoft moving towards uh, Fabric. There are very less um, um, releases or the updates where uh, Power BI now has become a very stable product and I don't think uh, they require more and more updates. I think uh, Microsoft or Power BI team focusing on fabric thing. And one last thing over here like um, uh, we have a Power BI report server. So Power BI report server is still available when you use uh, F64 fabric capacity that is reserved instance of purchase. Also report server is available when you use SQL enterprise edition with software assurance licensing. With this you will also get the report server. Now you can uh, get if you have a fabric F64 you can get the Power BI report server key in the services itself. This is for the on-premise Power BI report server I'm talking about. So that's it about um, this video. As I said, at the beginning of the video, we have uh, uh, started recording uh, Microsoft uh, Data Factory for uh, data engineering as well as for ETL or you can say ELT tools. I'm uh, going to come in a couple of uh, days. Let's see how it goes. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and comment below for queries. Do remember that data is your asset.